In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I lost $3,000 in one day. And it's so extremely frustrating for me because we've literally been doing this lawn care and landscaping business for five years now. We have two locations and I should know better. That's what it comes down to. That's the bottom line is I should know better when it comes to scheduling and routing what needs to be done. And it's so frustrating because I'm literally sitting here on a Friday kicking myself at the fact that I called the team off because of the rain and it's not raining outside. I'm literally looking out my window right now and it's not raining. So let me share you, share with you the story. So that way, hopefully you guys can learn from this and don't make the same mistake that I did because I literally tell my GMs all the time, guys, we're not calling it unless it's downpouring or there's lightning in the area within five miles or seven miles, right? And it's just so frustrating because literally the weather channel showed today at eight and nine that it was going to be downpouring. It was like 50 55% and then it was 80 and 90% at 10 or 11. Well, lo and behold, it's 10 o'clock right now. And again, it's not raining. It's breezy. It's overcast. It's the perfect, perfect conditions for our team to knock out jobs. And so let me share with you my morning. Literally woke up early, checked the weather, said that it was going to rain and all that fun stuff. So obviously got in the car, pulled out of my driveway and the rain started to rain and it wasn't like a downpour rain and it wasn't like a super even steady rain, but the ground was wet and it started to sprinkle. And so I'm like, okay, here it goes. It's really dark. This, I can't even see the sun peeking up. And so, you know, I felt bad because I wanted our team. What, what frustrates me the most, obviously, because I care about the team is I care about the team so much so that. I feel bad when they team when the team comes out and it's supposed to rain all day and we're like no guys we're going to work and then the guy the crews load up their truck they get on their routes they get dispatched they drive all the way from the house they come in they get to that first property and then it starts pouring and they're like why did we even come in right and then they start questioning like hey who called this all this stuff right and so I feel bad right because on P for P, which is what we pay our team, they basically earn a commission on the jobs. And if they get rained out, there's no commission, right? It's just, it's just lost revenue or we need to make it up a different day. And so me trying to look out for the crews, I'm like, ah, I don't want that to happen. It's already starting to drizzle when I pull out. And it was like a little bit heavier than a drizzle. So I made the judgment call. It was about 45 minutes before the actual start time. I said, Hey guys, sorry for the late text but we're going to call it for the day today because of the weather, the inclement weather. It's already starting to rain here. Things are wet and yeah, we're going to call it for the day. So lo and behold, called it and literally all of a sudden, like an hour later, the sun like peeks through the clouds and I'm like, oh my goodness. I literally called these guys off because of the rain and it's not raining. And so we run about, five trucks at our main location. And all in all, we typically do about $3,000 a day. And they're calling for rain all day again tomorrow, which is Saturday. And so here I am. We're already behind this week of the schedule. The job, the routes didn't even get done on Thursday because we're kind of down a man right now. And I called off Friday and so I'm literally so frustrated at myself that I literally called it like that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So that way, hopefully you guys don't feel the same pain that I do. And so what I would recommend for anybody that is a manager or, you know, managing the schedules, create a policy or a protocol around it and stick to it. I understand it's scenario based. I understand you don't want the guys coming in when they're literally calling for rain all day. 
But if there's one thing that I've learned down here in Texas is even though it says it's going to rain on the schedule, most of the time it gets pushed back. Very rarely in some scenarios like today, it actually doesn't even rain. So focus on production, focus on getting the routes done. If it's straight downpouring or the wet or the lawns are too soggy, obviously we can't mow. But just because they're calling for rain does not mean they're going to be calling for rain. I'm curious what you guys do. Please leave a comment below of how you guys handle rain delays. And I'm curious how you guys reschedule them. Do you do late starts or do you just completely call off the day? Because that's what I did or normally do is I push it back. But because the weather channel was saying that I didn't and it bit me, it bit me and I am going to remember this, but in my defense, I haven't been scheduling in a while. Obviously my amazing wife is the GM of the Aubrey location. So she's literally been doing this for like a year. I haven't had to do it in a while. Obviously I give my coaching and advice, but outside of that, um, it's different when you are in the weeds of it by yourself. So she is obviously right now in uh, Illinois with her parents and some spending time with them and spending some good quality time. So yeah, just making the good decisions, making mistakes. I wanted to put this out here. You guys can blast me in the comments of what you think I should do and how you should handle it. So go ahead, leave, leave a comment, tell me what I need to do. And I wanted to share this because I know a lot of you guys see the success, but there's also mistakes that I made. And each day, literally daily, I'm making mistakes. And it's only a negative if you don't learn from them. And me as a leader, as I grow and learn and grow myself, it's not a mis it, it is it is an issue. It's only an issue if it becomes a recurring problem. If it continues to happen again, that's where it becomes an issue. I don't mind making mistakes. I don't mind, you know, messing up, but we just need to learn from them. And so I wanted to put myself out there and let you guys know I'm human too. I make mistakes, completely my fault. And that is how I lost $3,000 in one day because at the end of the day, we are on a weekly rotation right now. And we don't work on Sundays because I don't believe in that. And, you know, we try to get all of our work done Monday through Friday. If we can work on Saturdays, great, but it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. So we're not going to be able to make these routes up and we're on weekly mowing right now. So it's not like I can just push them to Monday and knock them out too, since we're down a man, but yeah, that's how we lost $3,000. Hopefully this helps somebody else not make the same mistake. What I would recommend is only calling it when it's straight down pouring or there's lightning in the area or the lawns are already too soggy or wet. That's when you that's when you properly call it. I'm curious to hear what you guys do. Thanks for watching.